Mustafa's success has been nothing short of insane. They really cooked with this one and it deserves everything it gets. But even me, someone who loves this game and has been talking about it nearly every day for over a year, never saw this amount of success coming. The other day Bethesda shared that Starfield just crossed over 6 million total players, which is crazy to think about. Not to mention this game has just hit a 300k player peak on Steam after its release day. There are even some other content creators like some of my favourites over at Fudge Muppet who weren't impressed with the trailers and showcases who are now loving the game, which I love to see. We spoke just the other day about how there are plenty of idiots out there hating on the game for basic role-playing mechanics. Like I saw someone say just yesterday that the combat is sluggish, which it very much isn't in my opinion, but they said this after just three hours of playing, like, yeah dude, you need to put skills into what you want to be good at, this is an RPG. Even some bigger idiots are trying to review bomb the game and it's great to see that their bullshit isn't working. I'm sure you all saw that one dude hating on the game when a content creator asked him, hey that scene in the opening where you have to burn bodies was pretty forced huh? And the dude agreed, even though that never happens in the game. So basically people are just lying about playing the game just to shit on it, but what else is new? The success is crazy good and that's all we have to worry about. Look, if you watch any of my videos or if you subscribe to me, you will know that I've put over 100 hours into Starfield now. Nearly 200. And I still feel like I'm barely getting started and it's stuff like this that makes Bethesda Game Studios games so goddamn good in my opinion. I really think that they just hit the nail on the head here. Starfield basically just took what made Skyrim so loved and what Fallout 4 did extremely well, combined the two, and that's what's so perfect about Starfield, at least for me. Now of course Starfield doesn't do everything perfectly, not at all, I really dislike Outpost Building, I'm actually fairly disappointed in it, yet I loved Settlement Building in Fallout 4, so that's definitely a downgrade for me. But the point of this video is I personally never thought Starfield would see this success with the majority of gamers playing on consoles and the majority of consoles being on playstations. I really thought that this game wouldn't do as good as either Fallout 4 or Skyrim but I still thought it would do well just not as good. So I'm very glad that it has because honestly it deserves it. Starfield is absolutely my game of the year so far but we'll see how that changes towards the end of the year of course. And just very quickly let me say I know that a lot of you waiting for my character build videos and they will come eventually once I get a better feel for the game just give me a while okay like I said I still feel like I'm barely scratching the surface even after 100 plus hours point is this is really good for Bethesda it's a brand new IP and it's their first console exclusive with Microsoft and Xbox and it's doing extremely well and it just makes you think if Starfield is doing this well can you imagine how well Elder Scrolls 6 will do as well and actually just while we're on the topic speaking of Elder Scrolls 6 we did hear from Phil Spencer himself that just the other day uh, he apparently hasn't actually decided whether Elder Scrolls 6 will be exclusive to Xbox and PC yet and I honestly think that this depends on how much Sony opens up their exclusivity and their exclusive games. I feel like if they're willing to put some games on Xbox, that Xbox may return the favour. Now I personally own every console and a PC because, well, I have a money spending problem, so I don't really care either way. Though I do hope that Elder Scrolls 6 goes on to PlayStation just because I think everyone should be able to play it. You all know that I hate exclusivity. And I definitely think Starfield will be the new Skyrim. As in, we're going to be playing this for years to come without getting bored. There's just so much content here, even more so than Skyrim, and still to this day I'm finding new things in Skyrim, like over a decade later. Honestly, I'm just happy with how much I love Starfield, because there was always this tiny small part of me that was kind of worried that we would be getting another Fallout 76 or Cyberpunk, both of which are good games now, but you get my point. But anyways, look, that's all I have to say today. If you enjoyed the video, I kindly ask that you leave it a like, and consider subscribing if you're new around here and you want to stay up to date on Starfield content content and other Bethesda news videos I always try to get straight to the point and not waste any time so if that's what you're looking for this is definitely the place for you as always a huge massive thank you to our channel members as I always say your support means the absolute world so thank you once again for your generosity but with that all said and done I thank you all so much for watching and I really hope to see you next time peace